Hey, hello. <laughs> You're welcome to this channel, The Currently Show. This is Lifestyle Insights on The Currently Show. And remember that my name is Hope Noma, anchoring The Currently Show. If this is your first time on this channel, do not forget to go to our page now and subscribe to this channel on YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and do not forget to turn on your notification bell on YouTube for more updates from this channel. So today I just want to talk about um, poverty mentality and as you know or you will know today, there are various forms of poverty mentality. The Karendi Show, bringing you the best and trusted entertainment. The part one of the poverty mentality that I'm going to talk about is uh, longer throat kind of people. That's what we call it in Nigeria for the people that are, in most appropriate word in English, is covetousness, like people that are greedy. So we call them longer truth, longer, longer. <laughs> yeah, yeah. This type of people uh, are the people that uh, they want to get everything that you are giving to everything. If you want to give them one, they want to get five. Whatever you want to give them, they want to get everything from you. The the aspect that I want to discuss about these uh, longer truth people today is, uh, for instance, this is this thing that I'm talking about is most common in ladies. Yeah, like for instance, uh, someone is someone invited you uh, on a date. Uh, maybe you're going to the eatery to just have a time out, spend some time together and eat. And immediately you got to the eatery, boom! Everything you see on the menu, you want to test everything. You become automatically a gluten. And you will pack everything you see on the list that once the food gets to your table, you will eat and eat and eat until you look like a fool. Even after eating to your satisfaction, you still want to order a takeaway that even seven members of your family or even the entire members of your family will not even finish it at once. You want to pack all the food there because you're not the one paying. That automatically makes you look like a fool and you have already disgraced yourself before your guest. Another one could be like uh, maybe someone invited you uh, to go out on the shopping. Someone wants to take you to shopping to go and buy, and they, you enter into this shopping place. Ah, the only thing that will be remaining for you is to even pack the shop on your head and leave, and you will go for the most expensive items there, things that you cannot even buy for yourself. You make yourself so classless. You are telling the person that invited you that you're so poor, you're lazy, that even in your lifetime you may not even be able to work, like to earn and live the standard of what you are only depending on, on someone that will tell you that I want to take you out and you want to go there and finish the person's pocket. This is a longer throat, longer throat, longy, longy, longer, longer, whatever you see you want to take, everything you see you want to take. You don't even know when someone is doing on a good will that somebody is, is showing you kindness, kind gesture. Doesn't mean you should use it against the person and you don't abuse abuse somebody's a kind gesture or somebody's generosity to you. Such lifestyle is not good. It goes with negative energy and that negative energy drives away good things, good energy from getting to you because the only thing you want is how to get. You don't even know how to give. You don't even want to give. That's a mindset. It's a mind. It, 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 that's a mindset, lifestyle or mentality that is bad, that is setting most people backwards. If you want to receive, you should be able to give. And that is how the law of nature works. And remember, remember that before the person, before your, your do I call it guest, the person that is doing that thing to you, the person that invited you, the person that invited you out. Before the person, you've painted yourself in a very negative color and the testimony out there will be bad. 
Furthermore, you are hindering yourself for future benefits. There are times where you may really be in need of help, but because of the impression you have already created with the person or people who have tried to show you kindness in one way or the other, and you want to outsmart them by telling them that you can get everything, but thereby you have told them that you are greedy, you are covetous, you're not a nice person, and they may not be of help in times when you are really in need of help. So, being a longy, longy, longer throat person is bad. You disgrace yourself. You tell the world, you tell the people around you, you tell the people that like you or love you that, ah, you are glute or no, you are longer throat or nothing satisfies you, and that you don't even have control over your appetite. You don't even take what you need. You take excessively. You, you want to tell them that you are always taking advantage of any opportunity to see to run people dry. And people tend to run away from you. Even good things all, always disappear from you because the energy you carry is not good, is not, is not positive. Interestingly, majority of this category are penny pinching human beings who cannot spend their own on another person but when they want something from you they would want to milk you dry we call them close fisted human beings stingy people yeah they don't share with others and you will not even know that they have even when they have everything they will be pretending living their life as if they don't have Penny, which means they don't even enjoy even what they have to the fullest because in order for them to be trying to avoid people to know that they have they thereby deprive themselves that liberty of enjoying what they have these are the kind of people that they cannot even give you a pin so until the next video i am hope norma i'm Karin. The current issue, I remember to stay subscribed to this channel, to our pages, Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, Twitter, and don't forget to turn on your notification bell. And until next video, see you and have a great and wonderful time out there. Bye for now. Have you heard about the word TKS? No, Annie. What is TKS? Wow. TKS stands for the Karen the Show. Oh, never heard of that before. And what is that all about? <laughs> okay, I'll tell you. The Karen the Show is a media outfit that is all out to keep everyone happy. TKS gives you drama, motivationals, entertainment, infotainment, adventures, video logs, personalized activities, and so many more. Oh, wow. This sounds very interesting, Annie. So, what can I find TKS? <laughs> oh, okay, Winston. I'll tell you more about it. Just type the current the show on social media platforms such as YouTube, Twitter, Instagram, Facebook. Yes, subscribe, follow, like. That's all you need to stay connected. So, do stay connected with the TKS every day and have every reason to be happy. Oh, okay, honey. Thanks so much for the info. I'm going to do that right away. The Karen Show, bringing you the best and trusted always.